yeah, I've been here a long time. I've and I've done a lot of things that I'm pretty proud of, and um, it's nice that people don't know that I had anything to do with them. Jim is a visionary. Jim Spore is a, a mentor. He's so well respected. He's smart. He's talented, he's kind. You know, I've seen his real strength of character and his commitment to the region and his intellect, uh, his graciousness. I mean, he's really quite a person. You'll never see anyone work as hard as Jim Spore. We used to have breakfast meetings at seven o'clock in the morning, and then we'd be somewhere at seven o'clock in the evening at a function. I tell you, the man goes to more meetings than we all can count. That energy is still there. If life is mostly about showing up, <laughs> he shows up. Jim has a heart for service. When you work for city government or you work for nonprofit, you really care about the long-term results in your citizens and your community. And Jim brings that to the table. And if you sit back and look at what occurred during the time frame that Jim was our city manager, it, it's just truly unbelievable. You know, who ever thought Town Center would be what it is today? Jim Spore was huge in making that happen. I will never forget, we were sitting in the office and I was saying, well, you know, TCC at the Beach Campus needs a new library. And he was saying that particular part of the city of Virginia Beach ne needs a new library. And we had this like um, V8 moment, <laughs> you know, where we both looked at each other and we said, hey, we ought to join forces. That is an example of the power of not only partnership, but the power of the vision the man has. Jim has been so valuable to the United Way because he has a connection with city, business, and nonprofit. He's our current board chair. I don't know if I have said this to Jim, but in going through COVID, and having United Way be so outwardly faced and serving directly to the community. Jim was that strength internally for our team. Where I've really gotten to know him, of course, is we hired him, uh, Debbie DeCroce and I, to run the CEO of the uh, reInvent Hampton Roads. Quite frankly, could not think of another person as the founding president and CEO of that organization. No idea that it was going to become really the visioning organization for economic development in the region. When you look at his resume, you would think he would be intimidating, but he's not. I think he's actually very shy about it. Jim has done a great job of always trying to stay in the background. He's not one of those people uh, that will be in the front storm in a hill. He doesn't like to do things that way. He doesn't need to take the credit, but he is many times the person behind the scenes that really moves projects forward. Jim doesn't like recognition, and I'm delighted he's being recognized for this award. I hope the steam that he has and the energy that he has continues um, because in some ways, much of that work has just begun. So kudos to Jim, well-deserved, and so honored to be a part of this. So my hat off to my good friend and sometimes a fellow traveler in the journey to Jim Spore. It's, um, it's who I am.